Good evening. Today on Elgin Spotlight, I want to introduce you to Elgin's newest zombie fighter. Her name is Olive Thompson, and she joins the Zombie Elimination Committee to help fight the zombie menace that has plagued our community for nine years. Welcome, Olive. Thanks, Jeff. I'm so happy to be here. You're new to Elgin, are you not? Yes, I am. I just moved here a week ago because of this great opportunity. We're thrilled to have you, of course. We hope you bring new, fresh ideas to the committee that has struggled the last decade or so. Well, Jeff, I just hope I can contribute in a meaningful way. I think the committee has done a fine job. Well, there are those out that might disagree with you. If you look at the statistics, zombie attacks have decreased over the last few years. I think the ZEC is responsible. My one goal, and that of the group, is to make sure the streets are safe for everyone, and I think we're right on track. Everyone in Elgin will be happy to hear that, Olive. I'm Jeff Myers. Thanks for watching Elgin Spotlight. Zombie attacks have reached an all-time high. The question is, what is the Zombie Elimination Committee doing about it? Welcome back to the show. You're listening to WJKL in Elgin. My name is Dan Kelly. Well, folks, the zombie menace continues to be growing. People are dying day by day. The question is, what are the authorities doing about it? Everybody wants to know. I want to know. You want to know. We're trying, Mrs. Judge. Trying is not good enough. Miss Judge? Yes, Bobby. Are you going to eat any of those cookies? I haven't had my breakfast. Look, I want you four to go into the press conference and reassure the public that we have a solid plan. The public needs to know, to have confidence that we are going to rid this town of zombies. But how are we... Haven't you got a plan? <laughs> of course we've got a plan. Then get to it. Of course we've got a plan. Well, what was I supposed to say? Merkel, when this is all over, I am going to fire you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I stole it from my room. Yeah, because my mom has horrible taste in time. Good afternoon, people. Today we are here to This zombie that. horror has gotten out of control. We need action. Who here has not suffered because of these things? I lost my brothers to the zombies. I had to cut my own mother's head off after she was attacked. Who's gonna look after her cats? Not me, I hate cats. They trampled my zucchini garden. No zucchini rolati for me this year. We must catch the monster before it kills again. Sir, are you at the right meeting? Isn't this outraged mob versus Frankenstein's monster? No, this is Angry Crowd versus The Walking Dead. Frankenstein is down the hall. Oh, thank you. They ate my goldfish. <laughs> Everybody 
show up! All this hostility is not going to accomplish anything. This has been going on for eight years, and all we keep getting are promises. Promises that don't amount to nothing. Now, we have been meeting together as a council, and we think we have a plan. Merkel Jones. Um, yes. We'll begin by adding 120 new police officers, all trained in zombie elimination. Next will invest in an arsenal of weapons and high-tech equipment, all specifically designed for the permanent extermination of zombies. Then, we'll raise the property tax 1.4% to help pay for all this new law enforcement. What do we do now? I got an idea. Yes? North on Chicago Street, there's a little Italian restaurant. Once we get out of here, they have an excellent- the Zombies. Bob, what do we do about the zombies? Well, I would seriously suggest we all start looking for new jobs. Look, we're intelligent people. Surely, ow! Look, I'm not going back to Country Donuts for that job. If we break down our problems into small little increments. Somebody throwing nuts? It's a peanut, but it ain't no nuts. What? Y'all call yourselves intelligent? Intelligent people know the difference that a peanut is actually a legume, but it ain't no nuts. Sir, the meeting is over. A zombie infestation is a bad situation. I'm the exterminator. When small towns like y'all have issues with the walking dead, the smart ones call me. Walt Turnmeyer. Walt Turnmeyer? Yeah. Me. Look, sir, we appreciate you taking an interest in our problem. However, this is not the time. If you think you can help, you need to write up a proposal, including tax estimates, cost estimates, time frames, and such. Make 35 copies and submit it through the proper channels. You like walnuts? Yeah, I like a good walnut now and then. Good. Mother oh, somebody call security. Listen, all of you. I've been face to face with the dead. I've smelled their breath like toxic garbage. I've touched flesh that's cold like an old ketchup bottle just fresh out of the fridge. What are you talking about? I'm talking about fear. Pure terror, like when those rancid teeth get one inch away from y'all's neck, you'll- Get this wacko out of here! No, wait, I think we should hear what he has to say. Olive, look, you're new to this council. This isn't how we handle things here. Besides, I'm getting really hungry, I'm thinking tacos. But if he can help- Fine, anything to get this over with. Mr. Turnmeyer, quickly, tell us your proposal. I've got ways. Special, secret ways to get rid of every last zombie in this stinking town. And how I do that is my business. Rest assured, I'll get the job done, but it'll cost you. Look, assuming you're not a nut, and personally I think you are, what is it going to cost us? Half a million dollars U.S. cash. <laughs> Half a million dollars? <laughs> we don't have that kind of money. Thank you for your time. We'll take your idea under advisement. But for right now, please, we have places to go. Hey guys, we never got to eat anymore. Come on, let's go out. Let's go out. Oh, I've got to go. I have to uh, feed my cat. Yeah, I have plans. Jonesy? Sorry, dude. Tonight's cribbage night. Oh, come on, guys. Elgin Public House. I'm buying. First round. Meet me there.
You're interested. Hello? Anybody here? Just looking for some tacos. Hello? Oh crap. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. I just want some taco. here a couple weeks, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Maya and Agatha got mauled outside of Rediscover Records the other day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. All right. I never did like her that much. Get that wolf guy on the phone. What's up? I killed a zombie in my home last night. In my home! Enough! My favorite rug is covered in zombie blood. Get that wolf guy! All right, I'll Bobby take care of it when he comes in. Bobby's not coming in. Bobby was the zombie I killed last night. Five hundred thousand dollars. Put it in a silver suitcase. Like the one in them James Bond movies. We don't have that kind of money. <sighs> Walt, if you can get rid of the zombies, we'll make sure you get what you deserve. Maria, I don't think- Hush! I think half a million dollars is worth it. Think of it, going back to the days when kids could play stickball in the street and not have to worry about the dead. Where are we going to get all that money? However, are you serious? First of all, this guy's probably full of crap. Just gonna go out there and get himself killed. <laughs> and what if he does what he claims? Let's get rid of the zombies? So what? I don't remember assigning anything. And once they're gone, it's not like you can bring them all back. <laughs> we can't do that. It's unethical. Are you serious? Olive, don't worry about Walt. He'll get something. I don't like this.
Amazingly, every zombie in Elgin has seemed to migrate to the city of DeKalb. As far as this reporter is concerned, they are DeKalb's problem now. Well, I don't know how you did it, but my hat's off to you. I'm just pleased I can walk down the street without fear of a zombie bite. Thank you, Arlene. It's a great day in Elgin. So tell me, how did you do it? Well, there was this guy named oh, Walt. Uh, we will fill out a report on how we did it. We? It was teamwork. We couldn't uh, have done it without everyone involved. Well, I'm sure. I look forward to seeing a full report on my desk Monday. Uh, Cheerio! Yes. <laughs> Looks like y'all are celebrating. I wonder what that could be all about. Uh, hi, Walt. We have something to discuss. I want my money. Look, Walt, well, it's not like we ever signed any kind of contract. We had an agreement. You'll need to prove that in court. Uh, Mr. Turnmeyer, we're a small town and we just don't have that kind of money right now. This is what we can do for you. Six hundred and seventy-three dollars? And fifty-four cents. I'm sorry, Mr. Turnmeyer. You deserve so much more. I know it's not much, but it's all we have in the treasury right now. Well, I can't say that I'm not disappointed. Look, well, you're actually lucky you're ever gonna... Uh, uh, Mr. Turnmeyer, you deserve more, and we want to give you so much more. That's why, at the next meeting, I'm going to propose a resolution to give Walt Turnmeyer an annual stipend for helping to rid Elgin of its zombie problem. How much? What? How much will Walt get every year? Uh, How much is it worth to you to not have to worry that you or your loved ones will have their faces horribly torn <laughs> off? Come on, Maria, how much is that worth? I'll, whose side are you on? I've always hated you, Merkel. Well, we need to look at many things, budgets and such, and then we'll make a decision that'll work for all of us. You don't need to worry about this. We know we couldn't have done this without you. We know that. I'm going to give you my card. You give me a call in a week or two, and I'm sure we can present you with a deal that'll make you very happy. Well, there are many ways to pay. Mark my words, you will pay either in cash or with your mortal souls. One way or another, Walt Turnmeyer will be satisfied. Well, that went well. Thank you all for coming. And Mr. Horton, we will look into a way of eliminating the raccoon from that alley. First peaceful meeting we've had in quite some time. I know. I think I might be home in time to have dinner with my family. Oh, wait. We've got one more bit of business. What? I don't think so. We've got a huge bill to pay. The service is rendered. Yeah. What service? What bill? Shut up, you. Yeah. Meeting is over. Everyone, please leave. The meeting has one more bit of business. Walt well, Turnmeyer! What a surprise. I believe y'all owe me a half a million dollars. A half a million? Is that true? I'm sorry, Walt. There just wasn't time to discuss this today. Jones, make a note for the Walt payment to be discussed first thing at the next meeting. Doing it now. Next week, all right? Look, people. I've got money coming, and I expect to be paid. Well, this isn't the right time for a tax increase. Tax increase? One last time, where's my money? Okay, I'm tired of these games. Walt, we thank you for what you did. But you're not getting that money. Not now, not later, never. It's not going to happen. 
Well, I'm gonna have to do what I'm gonna have to do. Look, Walt, you're a hero. For the rest of your life, there'll always be someone in the martini room buying you drinks. But a half a million dollars? No, it, it ain't gonna happen. All right, let's take a vote. Who wants taxes to be raised so that we can give this man a lot of money? Ooh, no! Go away! Go away, freak! We don't want you here! You brought this upon yourselves. They got what they deserved. I'm not gonna argue that, but it still wasn't right. You gonna arrest me or something? Arrest you? No, like you said, they got what they deserved, but you still don't have the half a million dollars. Not a good business plan. I heard there was a big zombie outbreak in Dekal. That's where I'm off to next. And what? You'll get $600 in the satisfaction of revenge? If they don't pay. Walt Termeyer, you are a gifted musician, but a terrible businessman. Are you offering to be my manager? You'll get more than $600. Well, I never had a partner before. I get 20%. Fine, but don't ever cross me. I think that would be unwise. Olive, this could be the start of a... No, don't go there. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs>